Um, the lesson objective for today is that after completing this lesson, the student should be able to uh, use the where condition to limit the rows that are retrieved by a query. Sort the rows that are retrieved by a query using ascending or descending order. We say where clause plus, okay? So uh, restrict the rows that are returned by using the where clause, okay? The syntax here is that you are going to type the select, okay? And then you are going to call the column name. If there are expressions that you can include, you have to include it here. Like, for example, uh, primary three, foreign key, null, is not null, or whatsoever. So those are the expressions um, that you can include here. And then call the source of the table. That's why we use the from. And then here is you are going to put the table name. And then after that, that's the part wherein you can put the where clause. Okay, that's why we put the where here. And then you can put the condition here. Okay, so again, select is a clause that specifies the columns that are to be displayed. And then the from clause is that uh, it will identify the table containing the columns that are listed in the select clause. And then the where here, which is a where clause, okay? This is used to identify what specific condition you would like to add in the select statement to restrict the rows returned by a query. So meaning to say class, uh, we are, uh, we are, uh, we are using a where clause uh, to restrict, okay, or to limit, okay, you can limit the display. Instead of displaying all the rows, all the columns, okay, you can, um, you can filter that with the use of the where clause. Okay, so moving forward, so the where clause can, um, can, can be used, okay, can be used to compare values in the columns, add literal character strings in between, uh, the two column arithmetic expression or function and consists of three elements. Okay, so you are to call the column name comparison condition, column name constant, or list of values. So, for example, okay, this is the syntax or statement. You are going to call the select, the select here, call the column names, call the source of the table. Okay, and then this is the actual table or the table name. You put the where clause column name again, and then you put the, um, this is the comparison condition that we discussed a while ago. So I think uh, this, um, if you will recall our different comparison condition, we have the equal sign, uh, equal sign, the greater than, the less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, not equal to, and so on, okay? And this is the actual condition or the value that you are looking for, okay? So this is the, uh, the basic uh, format of in case that you are going to use the where clause. So again, if you will recall, the SQL statements are not case sensitive, okay? Either you type it in uppercase, lowercase, it's both acceptable. So um, the character strings and dates, okay? Um, this is if the select statement contains character strings and date values, always enclosed in a single quotation mark. So if you will recall class, if we are going to use the where clause, okay? Yeah, uh, to be specific, if we are going to call string, we are using a single quotation. So we are using single quotation to identify the character string because if not, if we're not going to use the single quotation mark, it, in, it means what? It is a number or a value. So kapag string siya, kapag character string siya, you have to put a single quotation, okay? So that the string will be recognized, okay? And then the character values are key sensitive and date values are format sensitive. What does it mean? So, uh, as uh, as we discussed, okay, as we discussed from previous meetings, uh, the statement or the syntax of the SQL is not case sensitive. So when you say not case sensitive, kahit itype mo siya ng upper case, ng lower case, it will be acceptable. Hindi siya magkakos ng error. But, uh, pag ang pinag-uusapan natin, natin class, if we're talking about the data inside the table, it should be, um, it is case sensitive. So meaning to say, for example, the employee name. If the employee name is um, typed or saved in the table as all capital letter or all caps, then you have to call it in the six syntax with all caps. Okay? Kung capital siya, itype mo ng capital. Kasi kung hindi, kung tinype mo na lower case lahat, tapos capital yung nakasave, hindi siya marirecognize. So yun lang yung sinasabing case sensitive, yung nasa loob lang po ng string yung nasa loob po ng table, yung data sa loob ng table. So, not only the um not only the strings, not only the strings, but um aside from the strings, um even the date values, okay? It's a format sensitive. Kung meron tayong monetary na nakalagay sa table, then it's same with that. 
it's format sensitive. So, so be careful. The comparison operators are used in condition that compare one expression with another value or expression. So for example, we call sign greater than, greater than or equal to, less than, less than or equal to, not equal to. So either you are going to use the less than and the greater than sign or the exclamation point or the equal. Okay. So again, this is not equal to. So lahat to um, class uh, from here, from equal until not equal, if you will recall, we already used that. Okay. In our previous discussions, in during our hands-on laboratory. Now, the only um the only um expression or operator that we did not use is the in or the inset, the between, okay, the like, tapos na tayo sa like. So like is used to match a pattern or a, a character pattern. So when you say like, like for example, um it starts with letter S, ends with letter A, mga ganon, di ba? And then yung isnal, I think we we use this um from a previous topic discussion today. Okay, I'm going to use the in and between since we did not use this from previous topics. Okay, so again the in is a uh, operator where in it can match any of the values inside the set. Okay, ano yung set? So later on makita niyo yun. And then yung between, this is to um to, um between is between two in inclusive values. Uh, the between is um we're talking about range. So, for example, when I say 10 to 15, okay, between 10 and 15. When you say between 10 and 15, that will be 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So, it, meaning to say, class, we are talking about range, okay? So, uh, this is how we use the comparison operator. Uh, hindi ko natin papagawa sa inyo sa Oracle. It's because that we are done on this part, okay? So, for example, um, select, call the column names call the source that's why we use the from and then you use the um you put the table name you put the where clause here and then put the column name and your condition okay so either you use the less than that a less than or okay less than or equal to equal to so any comparison operator okay next so i think it's because of between as i have mentioned um between we are talking about a, a range or a specific range okay Kapag sinabi mo between, range po yan. So range conditions using the between operator. That is to display rows based on a range of values use the between operator. The range specify in the where clause must contain a lower limit and an upper limit. Ano yung lower and upper? Well, ito yung lower, ito yung upper limit. So ibig sabihin 10 until 15. Okay? So use the between operator to display the rows based on a range of values value so for example select id f name last name so these are the column names from the table authors where the column id is between 10 and 15 so let's try this one so now we are going to apply the between okay so that's uh, okay let's check that one so select asterisk from meter where year level is between two to three okay very good what about can you show, show me your whole table select asterisk from midterm lang Tignan ko lang yung data mo. Run. Yan. Okay. O oh, yan. So for example, yun nga, hindi na nasama yung 1 and 4. So that's how you put the between syntax. So again, so for example, select asterisk from midterm where, let's say, sabi naman natin age. Oh, between, sabi natin ano. 17 to 19. So, dapat ang i-display niya 17, 18, 19 na age. Ayan. So, yan yung range. Okay. Very good. So, again, we are going to use the in. So, membership condition using the in operator. Use the in operator to test for values in a list. To test for values in a specified set of values, use the in operator. The condition defined using the in operator is also known as the membership operator. So if you're going to do that, select column name, calling the source of the table, the table name, we are clause, okay, and then um, column name, and then in, okay, so if you will notice class, uh, yung between kanina, it's only used for a value. Ibig sabihin, numerical, okay, range, because we are talking about range. Pero sa in, Pwedeng number, pwedeng values, pwede ring string. So if it's string siya, lalagyan mo lang na single quotation and then separated by comma. 
para matawag mo yung mga strings. Okay? So, let's try this one. Value na tatawagan ko ay 1, 2, and 4 ng year level. 1, 2, 4. Do not forget the uh, parenthesis. Pag in, nakaparenthesis na siya. Ayan. Ayan. Yeah, that's correct. Mali yan. Between lang yan. Sa between lang yan. Sa in, 1, comma, 2, comma, hindi, 1, 2, 4. 1, 2, 4. Ayan. Close. And then semicolon. Ayan. And then run. Okay, so mapapansin mo, ang pinakita niya, the values that is 1, 2, 4. So bukan mong burahin yung 2. Tignan mo kung ano mangyayari. And then run. Ayan. So again, uh, as I have mentioned, um, in this, okay, uh, ang inaano niya, specific, hindi siya range. Okay, then run. Okay, very good. So, ayan, ang kinagandahan ng in, kahit string, tinatanggap niya. Subukan so, mong ano, gawin mong small letter si Joy at saka si Effie. At yun yung sinasabi ko na sa inyo na case sensitive, kung paano siya nakasave sa table, dapat ganun nyo rin siya ikokol. O, ayan, balik mo na yung capital yung Effie, yung Effie lang. Ayan, run mo. Ayan. Okay. And um, the difference here is that um, for, for, the, uh, for the between, we are talking about the range. We are talking about numerical values. In the in operator, you can specify or look for um, numerical values or characters or strings. Okay. Next, um, the pattern matching using the like operator. We are done with the like, right? Naalala nyo? We did that um, from uh, from the previous meeting. So, um, when I, if you are going to do a pattern matching, you have to use the like operator, okay, to perform wildcard searches of valid search string values in a query. You have to use the like operator. Search conditions can contain either literal characters or may also be applied in numbers. Okay, hindi lang pang character pa derivable sa number. So. Um, the percent symbol denotes zero or many characters. The underscore symbol denotes one character. So for example, getting the first letter. If you want to get the first letter, so select column names from table name where column name like M percent. Ibig sabihin nito, it starts with capital letter M na first name. Yun yung hinahanap niya. So this is kapag first letter. So, kapag um, getting the last letter, kapag percent O, ibig sabihin nito, ends with capital O. So, moving forward. So, next is, the, uh, uh, next is the escape identifier. So, para din siyang ano, pattern matching. The only difference now is that we're going to include the underscore. Okay. Sa like pa rin to. So the percent um the percentage symbol and the underscore symbol can be used in any combination with literal characters. This, this means you can apply this to search for up first, last, or in between string with the same values. When you need to have an exact match for the actual percentage symbol and underscore characters, use this script identifier. This option specifies what the script character is. Okay, so now we are going to skip the first letter. Ibig sabihin, ahanapin natin yung second character. If you want to look for the second character, you have to use the underscore. Okay? So let's try this one. Sarko, can you, uh, kindly share your screen, please. Please share your screen. Gawin natin to. Okay. Sige, type mo. Okay, balik muna yung buong table para makapili ako. Sige, hanap tayo ng second character. Ang gusto ko second character sa... Uh, wait lang. Ayun, last name. 
last name ang gamitin natin. Tapos yung second character is letter I. Okay, that's correct. Proceed. Okay, that's correct. Okay, that's correct. Proceed. Okay, and then run. So, if you will notice, okay, uh, we call the second character. So, second character natin, um, we are looking for the small letter I. So, tingnan mo tong last name, yung Diso na tsaka Vina. So, ang second character niya ay parehas na letter I. Okay, yan po yung tinatawag natin na escape identifier. Kung ayaw mo na first letter ang i-consider, second character ka, gamitin mo tong underscore. Pag ang uh, nagawa na natin last time is that we have the starting, we have the ending, and then ito, for example, kapag baligtaran yung percent mo na symbol, it means na it contains this character, the CA. Basta lahat ng may CA, i-display niya. And of course, this is in capital letters. Okay, so getting string number of characters in between, yun ang ibig sabihin ng dalawang percent. Next, I'm using the null condition. Okay, test for nulls with the is null operator. The null condition includes the is null condition and the is not null condition. The is null condition test for um test for uh, null. Okay, so subukan nga natin tong null na to. Um, Sarko, please share your screen. And then tawagin natin si M table. Kasi wala tayong null sa ginawa nating table eh. Okay, select asterisk from M. Sige. So ngayon, tawagin mo, select asterisk from M where com is null. Try lang natin. Where com, call the com. Okay, then run. O, ayan yung mga null values kasi nakita niyo yung mga dash. Okay, ibig sabihin niya null. O, subukan mo namang instead na com, MGR. May, may isa akong dash na nakita doon eh. Ibig sabihin ng null. Okay, then run. Isa lang dapat ipakita niya. Ayan. So that's how you call um, the null value. So again, null is not equal to zero. Magkaibang bagay yon ha? So again, the null condition include the is null condition and the is not null condition. The is null condition test for nulls and null value means that the... Um, that the value is unavailable and assign unknown or inapplicable. Therefore, you cannot test it with equal sign because a null cannot be equal or unequal to any value. So, merong is null, meron tayong is not null. Hindi natin na-testing yung is not null. Gawin mo siyang is not null. So, dapat ang ipapakita niyan yung hindi null, yung kumpleto yung data. Ayan. So, that is for ano ha, that is for MGR kasi. Gawin mong com para makita nila. Com. Ayan. O, oh, ayan. So, wala na yung mga null values. Okay, very good. So, ayan, kung mapapansin mo sa commission, may zero. Okay, ulitin ko, null is different from zero. Okay, so that are the purpose of is not null and null. Kapag null, yung null values. Kapag is not null, yung walang null values yung may laman. Okay, thank you. Um, moving forward, okay, next is using the order by clause. So class, as I have mentioned, um, we already did this, okay, we already used the order by. So this is used to sort the retrieve rows, okay. So we have the ascending and descending order. The ascending order is the default, okay. So the order by clause comes last in the select statement. So again, order by will specify the row in which the retrieve rows are displayed. ASC is the uh, orders that the row in um, rows in ascending order, and DESC or, or orders the row in descending order. So for example, select last name. Okay, these are the column names. Calling the source, table name, where clause, um, column, comparison operator, and then your condition, order by, okay, the column, 
and then descending order. Let's try this. Okay. Okay, gawin mo siyang ano. Can you show your um, full table again? Yung ano na, yung midterm. Balik na natin sa table. Okay, then run. So ngayon, i-order by natin yung ano, yung last name. Yung last name kasi i-alphabetical order natin siya. So subukan natin na order by L name. Lag huwag mo muna lalagyan ng ascending ha. Last name, sorry, last name. Sige, yan, run. O, di ba? Kung mapapansin nyo, nag-ascending order siya. This one, um, what's that? Hindi ko mabasa. E, Guido, Laserna, Sarko, and then Dina. So, pero wala tayong nilagay na ascending or descending. Kasi po, kapag hindi nyo siya nilagyan, ang default value ng order by ay ascending. So, bukan mo lagyan ng descending. And then run. O, oh, ayan na. Naayos na siya. Bina, Sarko. Tapos ayan. So, lagyan mo uling ascending. ASC. And then run. Okay. So, bumalik siya. Alphabetical order. Okay. So, ulitin ko. Either ascending or descending. Kapag hindi ka naglagay ng ASC or DSC, the default is ascending. Okay. Um, the lesson summary in this lesson is that you should have learned the following. Where condition that applies comparison condition, where condition that applies other comparison operator, sort the data using the order by ascending or descending. Okay.